Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a look through some of the vintage action figures and a couple of the smaller play sets that came from the world of Hoth as seen in The Empire Strikes Back. So without further ado, sit back, relax and let's get to it. Okay, so we're starting off with my Han Solo in his Hoth battle gear, and uh, this one's on a, on a Kenner card, a card that's actually a little bit faded, and um, as is quite typical of these Kenner bubbles, um, it has yellowed, sadly, but I don't care. I've got you know pretty much one of every figure that was made, bar a couple of the, the rare variations, so um, I'm just happy to have this one, but I suppose if one came my way, I'd, I'd probably swap it out. Um, quite a nice little figure, this one. I was always... Um, it was always one that I sort of had with me when um, uh, when I was a kid and um, I'd be playing with my Star Wars figures. For some reason, I'd always take out Han Hoth and um, I don't think it was this one. I don't think this is my original one. This is a really, really nice mint example, but or, or you know, pretty much near mint example. Um, no sort of fading per se. His face, I say, is a little bit yellow compared to the card one, which does appear much, much pinker than my uh, my one, but I know there are quite a few variations on this one, isn't there? So I remember the excitement that was generated with The Empire Strikes Back, just the thought of it coming out. Um, it really was when, you know, when Empire came out in 81, I was uh, like 11 years old, 10, 11 years old, and I absolutely was the perfect age to be totally enjoying it. And we had the book and we had the comic and a friend of mine had the album, the book and the book and the uh, the record, so we could follow it through that way, and we would listen to that like the abridged forty minute version on our lunch breaks at school. Absolutely loving it, and uh, yeah, I got a lot of fond memories for Empire Strikes Back, and it's probably why it's my uh, my most favourite film out of all of them today. Um, but that was Han Hoth, and uh, yeah, good little figure that one. Certainly one I uh, enjoy. And the next one that comes to me in the pile is. Well, very similar, really. This is uh, Luke in his Hoth gear. And Luke, um, once again, this is a, an American Kenner card. Um, it's pretty nice. The card's a bit more vibrant and it's unpunched, but it has got a crease in it. Um, once again, the bubble has yellowed, but not perhaps quite as badly as um, as Han has yellowed. Got an old 77 back. Um, this one had a 65 back, so slightly different. But this is a, a 77 back Luke in his Hoth gear and this was a cool figure I mean it really was and uh, let's pull out my loose one here so I mean one of the little trademarks you see with the Hoth figures is that they start to put a bit more detail in it the, the designer must have like put all these crisscrosses in on the the larger scale model and um, he does he does it on almost all these Hoth model Hoth uh, figures and it's not a bad thing this one He's just, he's sort of in more of an action pose, isn't he? It's pretty cool. I've got to say, and, and his weapon there slung over his shoulder. Um, really good, really, really good. Uh, you know, a great, great figure. And um, I suppose they needed to get the main sort of hero of the movie just right, didn't they? And I do think they pulled it off with Luke Hoth. Uh, certainly a great, great figure. So I think it would make sense. Let's see who's next. We've well, got this one. So this is the Rebel commander so this is one i actually this is actual fact was the last carded figure i bought and i got this one fairly reasonably priced from ebay usa i think i paid about 85 pounds in our money for it which to me still seems a good price um and the reason why was because i had either a later kenner one or a very very damaged british one and the bubble was all yellow and it just looked awful and the bottom of the bubble had actually been like it had somehow got smashed a little bit and was cracked and I absolutely all I had a couple of other cracked bubble ones one of them being the original Lando uh, Calrissian and I got rid of them because I just didn't want them they were that badly cracked so all my bubbles pretty much they may be yellow but they are at least intact I always thought the car back the actor there looked a bit like uh, David Lynch <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the director, David Lynch. Um, so there you go. That was just my thoughts. But yeah, handlebar, handlebar moustache there. And uh, like Luke, he's got the uh, the tassel coming out of his uh, his hat there. Now this one, you can see it's got a little Walgreens. So this is the only figure I've got. I don't have many figures with stickers on original prices, but this was $3.59 from Walgreens. And uh, he's uh, a 41 back. 
and he's got some of the other play sets. So I have got the Atat and I've got the Turret and Probot set. And believe me, I really, tried, when I was digging these out, I tried to find my Turret and Probot play set and I couldn't put my hand on it. But I have definitely got it because um, I was going to uh, bring that one down as well. And I'm pretty sure I've got some sort of Hoth related board game as well. Um, but once again, I, I don't know where those boxes are at the moment. So... Um, but yeah, really, really nice, nice back. Please. I don't have many um, Empire figures and what I've got, I, I really love. And uh, yeah, he's a good, good little figure, this one. I mean, he's sort of, he is very, very generic, isn't he? The actual figure itself. Um, he is just the soldier and they've gone to town on the, the cross hatching there. <laughs> Mine, compared to my lovely carded one, has got a little bit of, you know, age related wear on the centre torso maybe where he's been on display I don't know um face is a lot lot pinker than mine so whether this is actually a variation because I don't think that's fading I think that that like yellowy face is just how he was made personally but who can tell who can tell so we do the rebel soldier next this is the rebel soldier in hoth battle gear very very nice figure this one I mean very generic as well um Interesting that I think in my one, I don't know if you can see, but the gun, which I reckon was possibly taped, it looks to be like a bit of a little bit of tape around the gun there. Um, apart from that, it's a quite a nice little card, that one. And this is the, the British one. It's got the Chewbacca Bandolier offer and it's had the closing date for that scrubbed out with a bit of um, a permanent marker, which actually happened at the time. This is a Collectal 65, and yeah, I quite like this figure, to be honest, I really do. And uh, there he is in his loose form. Um, not a difficult one to get, but um, he's very, very nice. He's a real minter, that. Um, he's as good as the card. It looks like he's just come off a card, doesn't it? So it's a very, very easy figure to get. It's not expensive or anything, but I suppose a mint one would be uh, a bit more of a, a challenge, I suppose. But, you know, I just remember absolutely loving these figures when they came out and uh finally thinking I've got, wow i've got all these extra figures to play with you know um after so long of just having my original ones and because of that i'd sort of moved on to other things um you know because there'd been such a long gap from when star wars was released and the toys to when empire stuff started to come out and uh, when you're that age you know you're a kid you move from one thing to another but when this came out my love of Star Wars was completely revived and uh, absolutely, well, it's never really left since then. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to make a little bit more room and then I'll be straight back. An all-terrain walker! It's invaded Hoth! From Kenner's Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back collection, new Hoth ice planet that you put together. You can make the elevator go up or down. Hoth! New Imperial Stormtrooper, Rebel Soldier, and Han Solo action figures each sold separately. Get him, Han! When you push the action lever, Stormtrooper falls. Now's my chance to sneak in. I'll cover you with the radar laser cannon. Hoth ice planet from Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back collection. Action figures each sold separately. New from Kenner. From Kenner's Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back collection, it's new Tauntaun. My mission is urgent. Tauntaun has removable reins and saddle. Action figures each sold separately. Hey, old rebel soldier. I'm so low health. Luke Skywalker's in danger. Tauntaun's front and hind legs move. Luke's okay. I found him. Our mission's complete. Tauntaun from Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back collection. Action figures each sold separately. New from Kenner. So I've just dug out my Tauntaun here. This is usually in a... GW acrylic case and uh, I don't know if I ever remember playing much with my Tauntaun but this is the uh, the second one with the open belly um, I think I actually had the first one as a kid I don't think I ever actually had this one but some of my mates at school did and um, always got a massive soft spot for these uh, Palatoy boxes with their bounty hunter emblems there very very nice um my suspicion is i got this when someone brought it into the uh into the shop and um i grabbed it then but it was a great great uh invention wasn't it the tauntaun what an imagination lucas had and i suppose you could say you know lucas thought of the idea of the tauntaun but ralph Macquarie sort of visualized it you know brought it to life um but yeah what a great bit of stop stop motion animation so i'm just sliding this one back into his case there there we are, and he slides, and it fits in so well, doesn't it, with the rest of the uh, the Hoth range? And I have got one other sort of mini playset, as it were, and it's the uh, 
the Hoth Wumper. Very, very nice bit of kit. I mean, I'm not going to bother taking this one out. You've seen it lots of times. Mine is definitely not quite that white. <laughs> He's more a little bit yellow, but um, it's still nice. It's in a, an original box there. And the box isn't bad either. So I'm really, really pleased with that one. Great, great picture. I always have these two on display, the Wumpa and the, uh, the Taunton, because they're just superb, superb. Now we have got um, just a handful more figures to look at. So do those now. And we'll start off with the at at commander now this is another one which is um it's a kenner one and um it's got a little bit of yellow in which is uh you know it is what it is on these cards it's a 77 back and um this is one of the ones that you know i've had for a long long time it's i've never really thought about upgrading the figure um to a better one but ultimately these jedi kenner ones are ones that i'd like to get shot of um and if there is a palatoy or a tri logo version of a particular figure. I'd like to swap it for that. Um, but it's a good one. And the at hats were just an amazing thing, weren't they? That was just such a spectacle um, in the Hoth battle of Empire Strikes Back. It just was super, superb. Here's a little loose one, the attack commander. This is my loose version of it. Nice, nice figure that, nice minty one. Once again, taking that sort of classic Imperial design, wasn't it? Yeah, very, very good. I don't know how we're going to fit these all in, to be honest. I might need to uh, move the big boxed ones over to one side. Let's pop uh, the Imperial Commander there. We haven't got that many more. So here's another Imperial. So we've got the, uh, the Stormtrooper, the Imperial Hoth Stormtrooper. These were a great little take on the original ones, and I'm glad they did that. And then you could say they had the Biker Scouts for Jedi, couldn't you? But um, this isn't a bad one. It's a Tri-Logo one. It's been in my collection a long time. It's not in the greatest of condition because it's got um, a bit of bubble, bubble uh, smashed, as it were, down there. A bit of creasing where historically this has been uh, a little bit damaged um, in the... Uh, you know, in the shops, probably. It's a shame because I turned down, I had there was a real mint one that came my way, probably, well, at Toy Fair, probably 10, 15 years ago, and it was only £45. <laughs> £45. And I, I thought, hmm, I think I need to upgrade my Hoth Stormtrooper, and I, I left it behind. What a fool I was. Because this one has certainly got a few um, little imperfections, which I wouldn't mind sorting out, but still a very very nice figure indeed and um even my loose one's not perfection but it is a, a good enough one for me so i'm pleased with that um but it's it's still i think this is a really tough one to find in nice condition and it's a sort of one a bit like i did with my r5d4 recently maybe buy a cheap graded one just to get a really really nice minter as it were you know so last figure today and it's She's in a case, because this is one that I have on display all the time. And that's um, Princess Leia in her Hoth outfit. Great, great figure, this one. Not a lot to it. But this is a lovely uh, Tri-Logo one. Um, really, really nice bubble on that one. And um, I call her Moody Leia, because she's got hands on hips. <laughs> um, a matte back. It's a Meccano one here. Um, yeah, it says... P PBP Spain. So yeah, a real proper tri logo that one. Great figure this one. I always uh, liked um, the layer figures and get on um, Kenner for not bulking and and producing um, the female figures when um, you know it, these were initially designed as boys' toys. You know, so um, the female figures weren't exactly a high priority. I often wonder how well the Princess Leia figures sold. Um, in comparison to, say, I don't know, Han Solo or Luke Skywalker. They must have been the more short-packed one, I would have thought. Um, anyway, yeah, very, very plain sort of figure. Um, she's just in her jumpsuit, isn't she? And um, lots and lots of Empire Strikes Back scoring, <laughs> as is very, very um, typical of these Empire figures. But it fits in. She fits in so well with the other ones in the range, doesn't she? It's just, it's just perfect. And it's an overall look. And it's that Hoth look which we're uh, which we're looking at today, you know. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed looking through my vintage Hoth-related action figures. Certainly some excellent figures included in there today. If you have enjoyed today's video, do please give it the thumbs up. Do please hit the subscribe button if you've not already for regular vintage Star Wars content. And I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye. Our mission's complete.